My favourite ABBA song. That's difficult. I think when we were filming, I loved Voulez Vous. It's so dramatic. It's fabulous to dance to. It's just got real... Um, what's the word? I, 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 real, it's got a fabulous energy to it. I just loved it. And we spent a week filming that number and I could have gone on and oh, it was a massive number, but you know, with loads of people in it and, and dialogue in between. So that's why it took so long. And there's lots of dancing and different kinds of dancing in it. So, but it, it was just wonderful. I could have gone on and on doing it. Um, but I think it would have to probably be either Dancing Queen and Waterloo, a, apart from that. Waterloo's fabulous to sing and Dancing Queen. Oh, there's something very touching about Dancing Queen. I found, found it very touching. That's one of my favourite lines. She said, you see these teeth? I can't remember the exact line, so I don't want to misquote Philip Pullman. But um, uh, she says something like, no, they was going in his, they, they was my husband's and they was in his coffin. Go, they was just about to go in the ground. And I pulled him, I had him out. Well, uh, he died of cholera or something terrible, didn't he? I can't remember. And she said, thought of these teeth, they're a lot slightly ill-fitting. I love playing her. There's a sketch where there's a, there's a woman queuing in a, in a, in a this sort of cafeteria with a tray. And um, she, she says, one woman was saying, oh, that looks at the prawns. She said, I never touch prawns. Do you know, they hang around sewage outlet pipes, treading water with their mouths open. Never touch them. So there's that one, which I really love. And there was one, the other one is Mrs. Overall. We did a, we did a Christmas special about, and, and uh, I think it was in the Christmas special, and Mrs. Overall has had this line written in. <laughs> saying that she's a lesbian. She's written, the actress, Bo Beaumont, who plays Mrs. Overall, is absolutely outraged. She, she doesn't really want to say it. So when it comes up in the, <laughs> in the actual scene, she said, I, oh, I never told you, but I'm a, a, a Lebanese. <laughs> and then she said, well, it's got the same letters. <laughs> So I love that. That's so sweet. I'm a Lebanese. I'm a Lebanese. <laughs> Mrs. Overall's my favourite. I think I can't. I've there's loads. I haven't really got a, a favourite. But if I had to pick somebody, Mrs. Overall is in everybody I play, which is rather unfortunate sometimes. But you know, yes, I think Mrs. Overall's got to be. <laughs> Lots of parts resonate. Um, uh, but I, I think one of the ones in the last few years that has really resonated was I played um, Mary Stubbs, who was the headmistress that took over St George's, where the, the, the headmaster Philip Lawrence was murdered. Uh, it went into special measures and she took it over. And I was sent the book called Ahead of the Class. And I thought, oh, I don't know whether I want to read it. You know, it's an education book and it's going it's to, I could, you couldn't, it shouldn't be in the education section. It is such an inspiring book. And it's about how she dealt with St George's. And it, it, she's just someone with huge energy and, uh, and po she's massively positive and believed in those, believed in the humanity of those children. And she got, the more difficult the child, the more she engaged and got them to engage. She was amazing. She just used completely off the wall ways of engaging with people. She was extraordinary. And I found it really, I found that very inspiring. And I remember a friend's son came to be an extra and he was there one of the days in, in the, in the uh, school hall where she was giving one of her amazing speeches. And he just said, that is one of the most a very special moment, listening to that. He said, I was, I was feeling really low about my life and everything. And it had really roused him. And that's what she did. And um, so I found that that really resonated. Um, well, they, they all resonate, they, they, you know, parts can resonate in different ways. And um, I think I, I played, uh, Ann Turner in, in, in Dr. Ann Turner in the short stay in Switzerland recently about the woman who went to Switzerland to um, take her own life because she had a, a progressive degenerative terminal illness and she was a doctor and knew exactly what she was doing and she was an extraordinary person and it was, a, it was a, an amazing act of courage. In fact, a lot of you know, her cri critics called it an act of cowardice. You know, it's the exact opposite. And um, she was just an amazing person. I, that, that really stayed with me for a long time and not all of it good. You know, it was a quite a depressing thing to, to do in the end. But um, yeah, she, that was amazing. I think the most surreal moment, I should have looked up surreal. Anyway, I think the most surreal moment for me was 
walking into the air studios where we where we um, put down the tracks for Mamma Mia. First of all, meeting Meryl Streep, who was, a, for me, an icon. You know, for, although she's a year older than me only, I feel as if I've grown up with her, you know, and um, uh, watching her be a mate. And there she was, standing there, sort of talking about her child's cold or something. And then the next minute, there were the boys from ABBA, Benny and Bjorn, they were there. So I was sort of like this, and I'll tell you, within 10 minutes, we are round a grand piano with Benny playing Dancing Queen, and the three of us, Christine Baranski, Meryl Streep and myself, are all singing Dancing Queen round it. Well, that was, very, for me, very surreal. Especially as I was probably singing out of tune at that moment. Well, I got involved with the film because they asked me if I'd like to play the part. I was absolutely thrilled, because my daughter must have then only been about 11. So she was just the right... So we, and I had read one of the books, because I think only one was out at that time. Possibly, to, I think only one was out when when they would get back to make the film, and um, my daughter was, of course, just of the, of the age with, with each one as it's coming. She's the age of Harry, so they were all going mad about it at her school, and so was she. So I had to read it. So I read the first one, then, and um, before I didn't know anything about the film happening when I'd read the book. I read the book because of all her and Maisie and her friends all going on about it, you know. So yeah, and I loved it.